Hi, this is Eric from Alan Software and based on a request from the Leffy list as well as on the Pixfly forum I'm going to show you one of the ways to make particles follow along a path in Fusion. So to start off we have a animated 3D object here moving along happily in 3D. Why do we use an object? Well it's always good to see where I want to have my particles, where I want them to follow around. So this is just a visual representation. Next thing is, we do have a background tool here, 100 pixel wide. And you will see that the animation is actually 100 frames long. So one pixel on my background tool represents one frame in my animation, as well as a rectangular mask, which is exactly one pixel wide and moves along with the time. So on each frame in my animation the mask moves by one pixel. Now I go to my background tool, right click on the color sliders and say I want to modify this with a coordinate transform position. In the coordinate transform modifier I put my shape 3D so now the XYZ coordinates of my shape get translated into RGB values on my background. And of course this background should be 32-bit float to represent out of range values smaller than 0 and larger than 1. So what now happens is, as said before, the XYZ values get translated into RGB color values on my background tool. And then I take a trails tool which now generates me this image. Again, RGB represents XYZ. I then take a particle emitter, which so far doesn't anything but just, you know, sitting there and emitting particles at one point. Followed by that is a particle custom tool. And now comes the actual trick. I use the RGB values of my trails image to modify the position of the particles. To do that I have to type in an expression into the X, Y and Z position here. And the expression is get. So I want to get a color value and in terms of X I want to get the R, the red value of the first input. So get R1 followed by a D. D means that if the values are out of bounds, Fusion will read the edge values of the bitmap, of the incoming bitmap. So get the red channel of the first input, and that should be based on the age of the particle in X and 0.5, which is the center in Y. So I do the same for Y and Z. But in that case of Y, I want, don't want to have the red channel, but the green channel. And in case of Z, I want to have the blue channel. And now you see that my particles, if I merge that with the original shape, actually do follow the exact path of my 3D object here. Of course you can refine this a little bit. So for example if we go back to our PI particle custom I could add an offset. So for example H plus N1. N1 being one of the number modifiers here. H plus N1 H plus N1. And now I can use the N1 slider here to actually introduce an offset to my particles so they so they can be in front of the actual object or you know pretty much on it or maybe slightly behind it like so and of course it's just a single stream of particles here and maybe I want this to spread up a little bit so what I would do then is go back to my particles and add a random value. So that's plus rand s. So s is based on a seed and that's 
between minus 1 and 1 and based on the ID of the particle and then multiply that with my second slider times n2. I can copy that straight away. So now I can use my n2 slider to actually add a little bit of offset and to make that even more random I could add something to the IDs like in this case let's say in the green channel or in that case the uh, Y expression let's add a value of 1 and maybe let's add a value of 2 here like so so you see you get a nice random offset here right that's one of the ways to make particles follow along a path in 3D Stay tuned for more to come from your favorite compositor.